Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. So today I have something quite special to talk about, and that's, of course, Sir Candleman's new book titled Let It Burn. I'm very proud and honored to know Kudzi. I give him his flowers every chance I get. Even when I see him, I tell him how proud I am of his accomplishments in this candle creator space. And to think, a few years ago, home fragrance candle content was just beginning to take off. And to see it come to this point where there are now candle collaborations and books being written is opening so many doors to elevate the candle world for creators such as myself, as well as shedding light to the many candle brands that are in existence. I am grateful to have found a space where I feel like I belong and I am excited to see the elevation of the home fragrance world. Now, Sir Candleman's book, Let It Burn. I will definitely say it's worth picking up and I'm not just saying that because he mentions my name in here. You ain't got to lie. Greg, you ain't got to lie. Ain't nobody lying. It's worth picking up if you want to know everything about candle care tips, about different scents and the best time to burn them, about decor and styling around candles. You will appreciate this book. This book is if you want to know about candles as a whole, and it's not just about candles. You learn a little bit about who Sir Candleman is and how his brand came to be. This is for sure a useful tool. That's how I view it. This is a tool for anyone who's into home fragrance or just fragrance in general. The information in here is gold. Everything I talk about on the channel is condensed in a well-written, easy to navigate book. There are a few things, topics that stood out to me as I read the book that I wanna briefly touch on here in this conversation. As I was reading this, I couldn't help but notice how many things aligned with my own approach to home fragrance and what I talk about on the channel. I definitely felt a deeper connection to this book while reading it. And y'all know, one thing that gets me very excited is developing a deeper connection to what I surround myself with. For instance, one of the very first things Sir Candle Man mentions is that the best luxury candles have stories, creativity, and passion infused in them. I say this all the time, home fragrance for me is much more than just a good smelling sense. It's an art form that carries throughout the entire brand. Why was the brand created? What's the story behind it? The passion of the different candle houses I talk about on the channel. They all have their own unique stories that speak to me personally. I feel a great brand starts with a story and that's essentially used to create the brand identity or brand aesthetic, if you will. I can go on and on about this topic because it's such an important one that's often overlooked. Sir Candleman goes on to talk about the candle that started it all, the candle that gave him this sort of epiphany. I'm not going to say what the candle was because I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but I bring this up because he talks about how this candle gave him this incredible, incredible feeling of living in Paris. If you spent any time on the channel, then you know I base a lot of my scent choices on the premise of emotional feeling. That's usually where I start when I'm out buying home fragrances. That's the only way I can come here and, and accurately describe them for you. I love when a scent speaks to me on an emotional level. A scent can't just smell good. It has to essentially make me feel something, and if it doesn't, then I will more than likely pass on it. And this feeling, it can be many things. It can take me back to a fine memory that makes me smile. It can remind me of a person that I love. It can remind me of a book I once read. It can remind me of a favorite vacation spot. It can be almost anything, even bad memories. A good smelling scent just isn't enough for me. It has to make me feel. Maybe a little too much for some people, but it makes talking about and describing scents so much easier for me. Just a couple more topics from the book I want to discuss. I'm not going to talk about the entire book, even though I want to. A very important thing to note from this book when it comes to luxury candles is that expensive does not always mean better. Expensive does not always mean better. Oh, say it again, Dexter. Expensive does not always mean better. There are some candles that are in that $30 to $50 range that are far superior to candles that are double, triple the price even. I read in a book that there are many variables that makes a candle more expensive than others, but do not think that just because something costs more makes it better or that is even luxury. Which is very true. Scent choice is such a personal and precious variable, 
I would say it's probably the most important. If you're a collector of anything, let's just say fragrance, then you will quickly find out that a well-rounded collection is comprised of both affordable and expensive fragrances that basically give you the same feeling. It's all based on personal feeling. The last thing I want to touch on that is just as important to me as brand identity and scent is the wax. It's probably the most debated candle ingredient in my opinion. I definitely get an earful from some of you in the comments about my wax preferences, but wax plays the most vital role when it comes to actually burning a candle and how clean it burns. And yes, it is still a personal preference, as with anything. I tell y'all all, all the time, I will never tell someone to stop burning a candle just because I don't prefer a certain wax. If you like it, please burn it. Wax. It comes in so many blends and variations that I do think if you are burning a candle in your home, you should be aware of what you're actually burning, which is the wax. In candle houses, they choose the best wax that works perfectly with their scents. Sir Candleman mentioned something in his book that I definitely agree with, and that's many high-end brands. They spend as much time working with the different wax iterations than the scent itself, which is true. It's incredibly vital to the success of the scent and how well it performs while it's burning. I much prefer waxes that provides the cleanest burns possible. Soy, beeswax, coconut, rapeseed is what I typically prefer or a blend of either of them. I still do not like pure paraffin candles or candles that are comprised mostly of paraffin for the reason of it not burning as clean and it's headache inducing, at least for me it is. Sir Counterman shares much of the same preferences when it comes to wax clean burns that are toxic free and isn't headache inducing. The topic on wax deserves its own video. It's a very dense topic that I don't want to get too deep into today. I don't want the debate comments on this video. We'll just save that for another day. These are just some of the important topics Sir Counter Man discusses in Let It Burn. I am honored I get to experience this and to be mentioned among fragrance professionals is, it still makes me smile. So happy to see the success with this creation.